Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. I hope you all are doing well during the COVID-19 outbreak and are staying home and away from everybody. Hope you are all doing safe. So today I will try to recapture the like image of Thistleclaw and try to tell you a little bit about him. Um, I did get all of my information from the fa wiki fandom, so if you want to go um, check that out, I do have the link in the description below. But here we go. If I mess up, I'm sorry. Um, Thistleclaw is known for his roughness and his mind to kill anybody. He trained in the dark forest with a cat named Silverhawk, and he also had a huge crush on Snowpaw, and they later became mates, with Snow for having White Kit, later to be known as White Storm. His ThunderClan mentor was Adderfang, who wasn't that bad of a guy, but I still think he could have been, had more control over Thistleclaw if he had wanted to. He just kind of seemed, um, not... I guess he seemed kind of weak. He was a strong cat, but he had, like, a weak potential to, like, have Thunder... Thunderclan. Thistleclaw as an apprentice. So, yeah. Um, Thistleclaw did have two sisters. One named Sweetpaw, who I feel terrible for because of how they described her dying in Blue Star's prophecy. Um, that, that almost made me cry. It really did. It was, it was, it was bad how she died, like, like that um and then he also had a sister named rose tail who lived on to be a warrior but then was killed by a blackfoot um how much pain did this guy have to have i mean really he has two sisters and they're both killed i mean well not killed but well i guess you could say killed for sweet paul because she was taken by her sickness i guess you could say that but um but still, that that's just awful. And then, he also was known to have a huge impact on Scourge and how he turned out, making Tigerpaw punish him too harshly after being on ThunderClan territory until, you know, Bluefur stops him. But that was kind of mean. I think he was really mean to Scourge. I mean, I think everybody kind of has that feeling if you've read the book, um, Blue Star's Prophecy. He was really mean to Scourge, and I think that if he hadn't been that mean to Scourge, that maybe, maybe Scourge could have turned out a, a good cat. But then maybe he also would have been to the city, and if he would have been a good cat, maybe he probably would have been killed by other cats or maybe hit by a car. <laughs> Just my thoughts for that. Um, later on, he does appear in Spotted Leaf's story and is known for trying to convince her to love him, and that absolutely fails when he takes her to the Dark Forest and kills a cat in front of her. Um, which, I feel bad for Spotted Leaf. I mean, are there so many, there's not a really, every warrior cat story, except for maybe the, well, every main warrior cat story, just seems like terrible. Can we not have something happy happen to them? I mean, they just seem kind of like they're torturing the poor cats. I mean, you know, that's just kind of, eh, you know. But yeah, I think that's kind of mean. Um, <sighs> he is also known for his appearance in Crooked Star's Promise, seen training with Shredtail, and later with Silverhawk, who offers Crooked Jar if he wants to learn the Killing Bite. I haven't read Crooked Star's Promise yet. Of course, I found this on Wiki Fandom. Um, the link is in the description below, as you know. Um, but um, I'm really hoping that it would be a really good book. I kind of tried to read the first few chapters, but then um, they made us read another book in school, so I, ne I never got back to that. Um, but yeah, I hope it's really good when I get there. Um, Thistleclaw did mentor Tiger Star in ThunderClan, as well as Breeze Pelt and Ant Pelt in the Dark Forest. I think Breeze Pelt could have maybe had a chance if he hadn't went to the Dark Forest. But then I guess that's why they used him, because his first influence was his father, who was awful to him. And then his second influence was him training in the Dark Forest. But I think that if he hadn't gone to the Dark Forest, that maybe it would have been better for him. And he wouldn't have ended up like he was. Or maybe mean, but, you know, not fighting against the clans. Um, and Ant, P Ant Pelt, I feel bad for Ant Pelt because he died later on. I mean, I just think that kind of Ant Pelt was kind of innocent. But at the same time, he wasn't. Yeah, I think Ant Pelt was kind of innocent, and in that they that then I guess 
that kind of did lead the clans to wonder about them training in the dark forest. And I guess that kind of led up to the story, so that probably had to happen. Yeah, that had to happen. Um, sorry, Aunt Pelt. But all in all, Thistleclaw did appear in nine Warrior Cats books, and most of them super editions or side novellas. Um, yeah, I think that maybe because Thistleclaw, he did appear in nine books, that maybe in the end you could have had, like, Aaron Hunter could have had a better story or ending for him in Omen of the Stars. I mean, he just kind of seemed like he was there and he was fighting with the Dark Forest cats and then, like, he 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 wasn't. I think he could have had a better ending. I, I do. I really do. Like, he was just kind of fluff. It was fluff. They didn't really kind of make up on that. Maybe they'll use that in the future for some of the... I haven't read, um the rest of, uh, now I can't remember the name of the book, but I'm on the last series and the second book. I haven't read the rest of that one and I haven't read the third one yet, but maybe he's in that. Don't tell me if he is. Um, I'm just brainstorming here, as they call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe he's in that. Maybe he has something to do with that. I doubt it, but maybe so. But all it talks about in the last series is, um, code breakers and traitors and I and I would have thought they would have had that by now I mean there are a lot more I think they use a lot of the code breakers for almost a, a, like every book now which I think after um the new prophecy after the new prophecy the second series of the warrior cats books I think they kind of went downhill from there I mean I did like the third and fourth series um the Power of Three and The Omen of the Stars, but I think they kind of went downhill from there. Uh, I kind of, I, I kind of do. Um, so yeah. Um, but, like, they seemed more authentic and less problematic in the first and second. I mean, there were problems, like, huge problems, but, um, you know, they just seemed more authentic after that, they just kind of went downhill, and it was, like, all about the code breakers and how there were code breakers in every clan, and then it's like, eh, you know. I mean, it's just kind of weird. Like, again, it's it's fluff-ish. I mean, I love the way Erin Hunter writes. I, I, think, I think she can write wonderfully, and I think she can write beautifully and make it a great book. I'm not saying that they're not great books, but I think it kind of just went downhill from there. And I'm not very much on the, I'm not, I'm not very big on the last series with Root Paw and um, Bristle Frost. They kind of just seemed like they were put there. And then I got to the part like, what, what the heck is with Bramble Star just appearing as a ghost even though he's still alive? Sorry if I spoiled that for you. Um, but still, like, that just kind of, that was, that was kind of weird. Um... But I guess I'm just going to have to read the rest of the books to find out, I guess. Whatever. But um, it just all seemed like in every single book, and every single super edition, there was somebody breaking the code. I mean, I like Blue Star's Prophecy, and Hawkwing's Journey was pretty good, and um, don't know, that's not a code-breaking thing, I guess. Um, oh, I meant to say Tigerheart. Tigerheart. Not Hawkwing. Tigerheart's Destiny. Um... They were code breakers, and they were pretty good. I wasn't really much on the Tiger Hearts Destiny kind of thing. Or maybe it's... I think it's Tiger Hearts Destiny. I'm sorry if I'm getting the name wrong. I can't remember names. I only remember the stuff that happens the books in the books. Um, but yeah, I think they were kind of just all about code breakers. Like, you can't have... I think after Omen of the Stars, they should have just quit making more series. And they should have just had you know, like, super editions on certain characters and different novellas. I think they just kind of, like I said, went downhill and it was all kind of fluff. I mean, it was just weird. Um, but yeah, in the next upcoming weeks, I will try to draw some more characters for you and try to talk about them and give you some information on them, just to kind of keep you busy during the COVID-19 outbreak, um, give you something to do, I guess, because even myself, um, I get, I get bored sometimes because it's just, can't do anything, um, 
But yeah, I'll try to do some. I've already drawn out some characters, as you saw in the beginning. Um, I draw my characters out first. That's just because it's easier for me. Um, I've been traditionally drawing since I was three, and I guess almost every artist has. Um, but it's just easier to do that way for me, so I can picture and know what they're going to look like when I draw them out in the end. Um, but I have already drawn White Storm and Wooly Tail, and this other character named Amberleaf, who you really don't know about, so I might not do her, because she doesn't have a lot of information on her. I just kind of saw her, and I thought she would be kind of cool to draw, but I, I don't know. She just kind of... I don't know. Uh, there's not much information on her, so I might not do her. Um, but yeah, so I'll try to keep you guys busy if you want to come in and check on some of my videos. Um, yeah, um, and I will try to keep all of my characters that I draw on a Google Doc or Google Slides so you can open them up as a thumbnail. And uh, if you want to use them for videos or posts, you can. All you have to do is credit me for them. That's it. Um, but... I will try to do that for you, um, yeah, so, I'll try that, sorry, I had a moment there, and then I'm, like, having super awful allergies this morning, and I absolutely cannot talk, <sighs> all in all, it's kind of a rough morning, hope you guys are doing well, um, and I'm sitting out here on the porch and watching the birds, sort of, they're just kind of peaceful, watching them, um, well, now I'm thinking about them hunting. Now I'm thinking about the warrior cats hunting. Sorry about that, birds. <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys are having fun with this. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun, actually, getting to talk to somebody. Because I haven't really gotten to talk to my friends ever since they let out. And then we won't be going back to school for a long time. So, you know, I haven't really gotten to see my friends at all because of the COVID-19. <sighs> I hope you guys are doing well and treating this well. I mean, it's just kind of weird. Here, give me a second. I gotta, I gotta go check on something. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you for holding on for a second. I had to, I got an alert for something that I needed to go check. It, it was, it, it was important. But, um, yeah, the COVID-19 thing, it's, um, it's pretty bad. <laughs> There's my dog. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's, he's adorable. Um, but yeah, it's pretty bad. But if you need somebody to say hello to, if you need an encouraging comment or something back, you can just comment in the section below and I will try to get back to you. I probably won't get back to you right away just because I, I don't check my YouTube account every single day. But if you need something encouraging or just say hi to somebody during these troubling times you can say hi in the comment section below if you need that um but yeah the COVID-19 thing is is awful um it's killed so many people already and I feel bad for them and their families I really do <sighs> I hope my family does not get it I really do I, I hope we are able to stay away from it and um yeah I hope to give you some more encouraging videos, um, something to do in the next upcoming weeks. Yeah. Listen to the birds, so peaceful. And I think he didn't have too many scars, but, you know, just a few here and there, because, you know, he liked to kill the cats and fight a lot. So, you know. Oh, I like that pink color. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching my video, and you know, if you need somebody, you can always just say hello. Thanks for watching.